Welcome back Sunbro. We hope you all in great health and great money. Before we start, please at least subscribe so we can have little money for food and paying bills. Alright, today we are going to talk about what you need to know about misophonia. Do certain everyday sounds, like chewing or tapping, instantly irritate you, but others seem unfazed. You might have misophonia, a condition where specific sounds trigger intense emotional or physical reactions. This can range from annoyance to anger, and even panic. Common triggers include oral sounds, eating, breathing, and repetitive noises, tapping, fidgeting. Some people also react to the visual cues that come with these sounds. Researchers think misophonia might be linked to how your brain processes sound, particularly repetitive noises. Reactions can be mild, discomfort, anxiety, or severe, rage, fear. Misophonia can affect your social life too. Many people start avoiding situations where they might hear these sounds, like restaurants or even meals with family. 1. How does it start? Misophonia often starts between ages 9 and 13 and is more common in girls. Doctors aren't sure what causes it, but it's not a hearing problem, it's likely a mix of brain and body reactions. Since hearing is normal, diagnosing misophonia can be tricky. It's often confused with anxiety or OCD, but a recent study shows it's a brain-based disorder linked to sound stimulation process and the fight-or-flight response. It also involves parts of the brain that code the importance of sounds. 2. How is it treated? Misophonia can be managed. Treatment usually includes sound therapy using devices like hearing aids that create calming noises and counseling to learn coping strategies. You can also try lifestyle changes like regular exercise, stress management, and using earplugs or headsets to tune out sounds. Set up quiet areas or safe spots in your home where no one will make the noises that bother you. Support is key. The Misophonia Association and the International Misophonia Research Network provide resources, and there are online communities where people share tips and advice. For more support, you can check out sites like misophonia-research.com or allergictosound.com, which offer resources and webinars. Thanks for watching, Sunbro. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share if you find this helpful. Come again to our next meeting, Sunbro.